It's Madden NFL 24, and everyone's eyes go to Jameer Gibbs. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Lions and the 49ers on Monday night primetime. It is a part of the country that could definitely use the rain, but it's also going to make for a very wet track tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Taken at the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they'll be let out by their six-year quarterback. And he's had good success here already this season throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in his two games. He's really got this offense playing with a lot of confidence, trying to establish themselves early as a Super Bowl contender. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Pretty slow, complete here to Ayu. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. 50 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. This second and four. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. And they'll turn their power game to try to get in. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. No, he didn't spike it. He faked it. Ah, but it's not going to work. He'll go down, and they got him. Not what you wanted there. It goes as a sack and a loss of a yard, and now it's fourth and goal. Boy, this has been a nice first drive for them, but right there, Charles, a sack on third and goal, that's tough. Yeah, and if you're the head coach and the offensive play caller, if you had any thoughts about going for it on fourth down, it's a much more difficult decision now. Likely kick the field goal, but if you're going to go for it, you better have the perfect play call on your sheet. Purdy on fourth down. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. 
They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this defense holds on the Knights' opening drive. So, Charles, they wanted seven on that opening drive. They didn't want to settle for a field goal. Felt like a tone setter. You know, that's what they were looking for because a lot of teams, they, they, they'll march it downfield, and when they kick the field goal, it almost feels disappointing, doesn't it? You have a nice drive. Yes, I think this team decided, guess what? No matter what, we're going for the six. You're trying to put those points on the board and set them back on their heels. But unfortunately, that mentality did not work out. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Right. Yeah. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. Had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I don't see more than trying to get him to go right in the backfield, but nobody can do an open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can explore. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, he'll drop to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Green, check white, yellow, line. On play action, they'll throw. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. They said there was a lot of discussion in their defensive team meeting room after last week's performance. They had seven sacks. Something in the water. There's one in the first quarter. A lot of discussion, a lot of excitement because now everyone wants to get involved with this. Who's going to continue that process? Who's going to get to the quarterback this week? But they have to be careful. When you have that much pressure, they want to use it against you. Draws, screens, those types of plays. Let's see if they do that. Chase Young, he's the one that drops in this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here. Back to back sacks. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. We're scoreless after one. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to go down again. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them third time he's gone down he might develop some happy feet now want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs here comes the Lions punter now back to return it Christian McCaffrey he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. That's taken at around the 40. 43 yards on the punt, 7-yard return, and they will take over first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense 
came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Purdy with it on third and long. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Purdy will look to throw again here. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey, his third touchdown now. The first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field, maybe hit them on those short passes on the perimeter, make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. He'll look to throw. And that'll be caught by Sam Brown. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it down. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. A nice little juke. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And that will come the offense as they take over. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own, well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means you know, he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Purdy now on second down. Eluding the... Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. 
A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, Ready. but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game, telling all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Fair to say it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also they get a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 63 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Good position to be in here, second and inches. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he's going to have the Niners first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. The Niners at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. First down, this is McCaffrey trying to run inside, but nothing there. That stop made by Jack Campbell. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as he'll get this down to the 47-yard line. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Purdy from the gun. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Out of the gun, Purdy. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown for the Niners! Debo Samuel in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers will extend their lead here just before halftime. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. An extra point try now for Moody. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive goes 
first eight plays. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Ready? They'll throw now on the final play. And his throw here is incomplete. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. Well, we get our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, where it was the Titans who get the win at home. Will Levis, sharp in the victory, as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. From there, let's head west to see what's going on with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh to check on the Steelers at home in Acrisure Stadium. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow, two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. We saw a fine performance in the first half from the former Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. Both these teams getting a chance to dry out, maybe change their cleats if need be, but halftime's just about over. Time to get back to it. And for the call of the second half, here's Brandon God. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence hey, with ready. a touchback. Down. Ready. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Greg Newsom. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49 D as they score the touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Another shot now for this Lions offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation. But there he goes, left side. A big play there. For Detroit, 42 yards. And you need a big play? Go. Go, go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. They're going to look to throw. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down, Lions. 
Ready. Back to throw again. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Lions get a bit closer. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. The extra point splits the uprights, and it makes the score 21-10. to 10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Shotgun now with Purdy. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a bow on your hands. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Purdy's throw complete here to IU. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. McCaffrey running up the middle. Room here to run. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 of the 15. 90 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey. That's career touchdown number 131. And it ties him with Chris Carter for number eight on the all-time list. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Now Moody for the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. That time a six-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. He's got daylight. Touchdown, Detroit. He goes 86 yards on the kick return. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now. Two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said. It's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. And of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud. You did. Yeah, my bad. Lions 
So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And this take it in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Now comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. you probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Second and nine. Play action. Now Purdy. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strike of the 49. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now a run with McCaffrey. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in their run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and let your defense rest on the sidelines. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Back to throw, Purdy. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Purdy from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. They go play action here, Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, boy. Tough conditions out there. I don't know if a defender slipped or what. But he had a man wide open. And that's a bad one to miss on. They don't come a whole lot easier than that one right there. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick. But let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week. Back now here in Santa Clara. Ready. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Ready. Ready. They'll drop to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. 
picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the 49ers are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. McCaffrey on the counter. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. On first down, it's Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The throwing here, Purdy. Flush. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, Stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Eight yards there and a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. On first down, Purdy. They'll find Ayuk open right side. That'll give him eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports.
So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run again. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And he will have the first down. And that is not officially going to end it, but they'll be able to take the clock way down from here. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. And they take a knee. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. start at the 25 so now the Lions down by two touchdowns 27 seconds to go it's an extremely tall order in front of them but they've got the ball with a first down chance to scan the field there it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good and second and ten he'll look to throw again now throw right side here gonna be incomplete if this offense can't get it done they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves this was a winnable game and we let it get away still a chance to save it but time's definitely running out on third down, he'll drop to throw. And he comes back with one complete. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late. And they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway, once it happened, it knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So for the 49ers, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get to stay home.